let's take a look at how to break apart and edit the types. Uh, let's, I'm going to go ahead and use this letter size and uh, I'm going to just change the orientation to landscape control 0 to zoom in fit in the screen now I'm going to go ahead and use a text uh, certain text just go type or you can use shortcut T click on here go to the selection tool I'm going to increase the font size a little bigger okay now I have a few options here to uh, convert these text into shapes here I have option to create outlines I could just right click and create outlines or use the shortcut shift control O and there I have changed the text into a shape I'm gonna give undo let's just take this one as a line uh, type and one as a shape the one with the type has a particular underline going on around uh, beneath the text and uh, here it will disappear after I convert it to outlines so that is one way that I can change the text into a shape and I can use the direct selection tool and can work with the letters I can increase or decrease the size and manipulate uh, manipulate like so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this let's take the copy of this again alt drag and place we have another way to convert this into a shape we can go to the object menu then give expand here it will ask me if I want to expand object fill in case I have strokes and I can also change strokes to object as well so I'm gonna give head ok and uh, there my shape has been converted uh, sorry type has been converted into a shape this is currently a compound path I can release the compound path or I could just uh, work using the direct, the direct selection tool and move around the typography or I can just scale it up or down making different shapes and sizes here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and there is one more way uh, I'm gonna give a stroke to this one this time say this stroke go to the object menu and give expand so give OK and there right click ungroup and right click simplify right click release compound path and object expand ok right click ungroup and I have this fill and the stroke separately So this applies for any object. Uh, let's say I'm taking a circle or a square. A circle. A stroke of this red stroke. A so thickness, little bit thick. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead to object menu and expand. Go to OK and right click ungroup. And there I have my fill and stroke separate. You can also have a stroke and fill a little bit smaller. Let's say I want a fill a little smaller like this. And I can just go ahead and take a circle and then give a stroke. And click on the stroke and make sure you give it on the outside. So it will appear particularly on the outside and not um, at the center. So let's just go ahead and give an expand appearance. Uh, ungroup and there I have it separate I'm going to delete this here we're going to take a look at the typography let's just go ahead and uh, I'm going to do some font a thick font like this take a copy alt hold alt and drag and I'm going to select all this and type 
के ए बी ओ ओ एम एन एक्सप्लेमेशन मार्क एस्केप टू फिनिश एडिटिंग गो हेड एंड यूज शॉर्ट कार्ड शिप कंट्रोल ओ एंड इट इज नाउ आउटलाइन नाउ वट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन यूज डायरेक्ट सिलेक्शन टूल I'm gonna change this shape. Let's say I'm gonna delete this one. Click and delete double times. Click and delete two times. So I am making the changes to this particular type. Select, delete twice. I can do same with this one. So I have made certain changes to this typography like this. One. I can even select these two fonts increase this or i could just select and increase this as well or i can just make it curved little curved like so give undo two times okay and go to the select release okay here i'm going to use the direct selection tool and go to the corner and just make a smooth selection click and drag okay like so you can change the corners so i can give a certain look to my typography so in using this uh, i can create my own typography as well let's just say i'm going to choose another font now Mm, let's say this one and create outline now it's changed i'll just keep it type here and then create a copy and then do the work here in case i need this i'm going to take a backup like so and create outline say i'm going to go to the glyphs and check out what do we have in options and glyphs go to windows menu go to type and there you have glyphs panel there this is the glyphs panel I can explore a few other options like I don't like this particular M then let's check out if this font has a different kind of M and there is an M but it is in capital letters there is a N in case I want to use so I can just go and use this N so certain different type of M So here you have options of uh, changing the style of the typography in case uh, just check it out here and the glyphs in case you like it then you can use it or you can just create your own version of this. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's say I don't like this one so I'm going to go ahead and delete this and take a pencil tool and go ahead and do this select drag selection tool and pencil and gone i think i'm not doing a straight line so i don't just go ahead and take a shape just take a shape of this rectangle i'm going to rotate it and try to match this okay it's fine I can just go ahead and
use the shape builder tool shift M and alt click and then move out use it like so click on this go ahead zoom in use the direct selection tool you can just remove the anchor point click and remove anchor point so this line has straightened up quite a bit plain L that I want here so that has happened let's say I want this on my M so I'm gonna go ahead and take a copy of this remove the rest of that escape and here create outlines ungroup and I could just go ahead and select this drag selection tool double click on this just select like this I think I need to ungroup this at least come on path okay here so I can use it like so but it is kind of I need to stretch this out yeah so it's not useful in case of M maybe I could use it on U or S or P or some other letter yeah also I can change the thickness of this O here so I can make a different kind of O in case I don't like this particular O I can take a lips tool make an oval make sure it's white scale it down like so and rotate and there so I can give certain different effects and uh, now it looks like a completely different character and it can be used in some brand that I'm working for so this way you can tweak the current typography as well and make it something different out of it let's just say I'm going to take another example of uh, I'm going to filter this to handwritten text or maybe this okay okay so I this is a pretty uh, interesting font so I'm going to go ahead and create outlines and let's just take a look at the clips here go to this L see if we have any particular glyphs related to this letter the type glyphs I do have glyphs with respect to A E I O U pretty much like vowel thing going on here so I can change the O if I want to and pretty much the vowels or the B there's another kind of B here and there is an R, different kind of R. Let's just take a B for instance. So I want to change this B. I'm going to go ahead and use this B. Create outlines. And I can use the smooth tool. And I can edit this like so. I want this out here. I'm going to use the eraser tool. That's going to be convenient in this case. Size is bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Use the square bracket to bring the size, size down. And there could just remove this portion mm. 
make it a little bigger. Use the anchor point tool, zoom in a bit, maybe just select then delete. And it will smooth the things out. Delete the extra points from here. Here, delete. Yeah, it's smooth that out pretty accurately. So I'm gonna select few anchor points here as well. Select, delete. Make it a curvy. I'm gonna have to control the curves here. Yeah, that looks okay, I guess. So I can I have completely changed the B in this uh, case. I can also change the thickness of this using. Uh, I'm gonna go to it release. Yeah, there. That also changed the look of the font. I can group and I can put in a different shape here. Like I can make this like so, and then given a white color. So that will work as a different font. Completely change the characteristics of the font like so using the direct selection tool and shape builder tool and have tons of options in case you want to edit shapes there there is a little bit here okay okay Okay, so that's how you break apart text and make your own text.